Hi, welcome to this DM2 tutorial. This is the Synthesis Graphical Editor. It may look a little bit daunting at first so let's have a tug together. A sound is made of two sources, an oscillator and a noise generator. The oscillator generates a sound wave that gives a pitch to the sound. For instance the pitch of a kick is low and the pitch of a snare is high. The noise generator can be used to create non-harmonic sounds like hi-hats. The oscillator is represented by the four blue graphs on the left hand side. The noise generator is represented by the two yellow graphs on the right hand side. You can set the balance between the oscillator and the noise with the mix fader at the bottom. Let's review each of those six graphs starting with the oscillator. There are four different waveforms for the oscillator. Sin, triangle, sawtooth and square. Let's pick the sin wave that gives a round, soft sound. Most important, when editing a graph, you can zoom in it by tapping the small magnifying glass on the title bar of each graph. Zooming is great for fine adjustments. To zoom out, just tap outside. The oscillator has an extra feature. When scrolling left or right the oscillator frequency you can fine adjust it by dragging up or down your finger while scrolling the frequency dot. By doing so, you can very precisely adjust the frequency. Next is the oscillator pitch modulation. You can modulate the pitch, how high or low the oscillator sounds, with an envelope. This is how you create a sound with a strong attack like a kick. The two other modulations, LFO and random are useful for different textures or special sounds. Next, both the oscillator and the noise generator have graphs for the filter and the volume envelope. The filter alters the sound by cutting off some frequencies. You have three types of filters. Low pass, band pass or high pass. If you select the low pass filter, this cuts off the high frequencies. The other parameter when you drag up or down the filter dot is the resonance. The resonance boosts the edge of the cut off frequency. When set to high values, the resonance produces distortion or extra self-oscillating frequencies that can produce very interesting, gritty sound with lots of textures. The volume envelope allows you to define how the sound rises and fades. It can be very short or very long. There are three types of volume envelopes, exponential, linear and repeated attack. The exponential envelope works well for fast percussive sounds like kicks. The linear envelope works well with sustained sounds like toms. The repeated attack envelope works well for sounds like claps. Finally, there are the general parameters. First at the bottom the distortion that can be very powerful. If the distortion is very strong you can balance the overall level with the volume fader on the right hand side. The next parameter is the mix between the oscillator and the noise generator. The stereo button adds a wide stereo effect. Finally there are the mixer parameter, the volume and the panoramic setting. We hope this door has shed some useful light on the DM2 synthesis editor. One way to explore and learn how drum synthesis works is to load and study how a kick, a snare or a hi-hat is made. The sound panel, from the sound button above, allows you to load any sound from any drum kit. Just explore and play.